So a lot of y'all have been in my comments asking me what foundation I'm putting on that look like skin and just melting into my face. And the answer to that question is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Balm Foundation right here. I'm gonna put some on today and give you my pros, cons, and overall what I rate this foundation and if I suggest you should get it. The packaging looks like this and I have the balm in the shade Tan 74. I've been using it, I wanna use it all up and this is what it looks like, it's pretty used. So one of the good things about this foundation is that you only need a little bit. So I'm just gonna like circular, get just a little bit on the brush. And I want you guys to see how, well, you guys already noticed how it just does kind of look like it's skin on skin for me. So that's another pro. It's, um, you only need a little bit for full coverage and it truly is full coverage and the shade matching is really on point with this foundation. It absolutely does feel like butter going on. It's very lightweight, very smooth. Now, I don't use any primers because I have dry to, um, I guess, normal combination skin. So I don't use any primers because it like really makes the makeup just slide off for me. And I don't know, it's just like my personal preference. I just feel like primers just don't make the makeup last as long. Pretty much applied the makeup, just, you know, like two swigs of it all over my face and I, I haven't yet used any concealer for any of my dark spots or pigmentation and we pretty much got full coverage. I love that about this foundation and it's not heavy. Like it's super lightweight and I pretty much got full coverage. Um, and it really matches my skin. Like it's just blending in there. Like I'm constantly blending. You guys don't see any brush strokes. I love that about this foundation. I absolutely do. But now let's get into the con. Now it does not last long. It only lasts a couple of hours and then it will start to slide off and you will look an oily mess. Now keep this in mind. This is coming from someone who has dry skin. Most people have oily skin. So I can only imagine what this foundation looks like if you don't have dry skin. You also have to set the heck out of this with powder, which is why I am using a little bit more than I would usually use, but I'm not worried about it because the foundation matches my skin so well and it blends so well that the powder doesn't necessarily make me look cakey. And I, that's another reason why I love this MAC powder. Um, but you do have to set the heck out of it. Um, if you wanna get the most wear. And when I'm saying the most wear for me is about four hours. This is not an all day foundation. Um, and I hate that about this, which is why I won't be repurchasing it. Um, so I do not recommend this. If you have oily skin, it's not, it's kind of, you're gonna put it on, it's gonna slide off. If you do have dry skin, you wanna check it out. Definitely don't use any primers. It is not a all day skin, but it is very lightweight. The shade match is really spot on. And I probably wouldn't be as upset if it was a drugstore foundation. Like if this cost me $12 and it only lasted four hours and it matched me like this, I don't think I would be entirely too mad because there are lots of instances where I'm only gonna be wearing makeup for a couple of hours and I don't, I wouldn't care. But for this to cost $42.50 and not last all day, I got a problem with it. Like we got beef and that's just what it is. So. Um, Six out of 10 is pretty much what I give this. Do I recommend you buy? Not really. Let me know what foundation you guys wanna see me try out next.